Hello investors, welcome to Business Learnings. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to buy low and sell high. Is it even possible? Yes, it is possible if you just follow one simple rule of thumb that I'll talk about in this video. And I'll also give an example that will make uh, uh, this concept very clear. So yes, uh, before we get started, please uh, subscribe to the channel so you do not miss on these videos in the future. Let's get started. The strategy is called constant weight asset allocation strategy. Pretty long name, but it's a very simple concept. Uh, I'll give an example and it will be very clear. Uh, let's say based on my financial goals, based on uh, based on my earnings and everything, I have decided that uh, that 80% uh, uh, of my portfolio will be in equity and 20% will be in debt. When I say that, let me take the example of bond markets. Let's say I have one lakh rupees. 80,000 rupees is in equity market, equity as in stocks, mutual funds, etc. And 20% is in debt, as in bonds, etc. Now there could be people who have their money in, uh, in real estate, in real estate, in gold or uh, in any other asset class. I'm not taking those examples because I want to keep this simple. So my overall goal, the rule of uh, constant weight asset allocation strategy says that we should always keep our uh, asset allocation weights constant. So currently I have the ratio of 80 is to 20, 18 to equity and 20 to debt. My overall goal is to maintain that ratio and whatever the fluctuations of the market is, I'll adjust uh, my holdings based on those, uh, uh, those fluctuations if my portfolio changes beyond a given threshold. And if I do that, I will be able to buy low and sell high. Wow, it's, is, it that is it that simple? Is it, is it even feasible? I'll give you an example. Uh, let's say currently 80,000 in equity, 20,000 in debt and the market falls by 10, uh, 20, 30, let's say 40%. Let's say 40%, markets fall by 40%. Stock market is down by 40%. My equity holdings, which were 80,000 rupees, they'll go down to 48,000 rupees because there's a market crash. Uh, my debt holdings, let's say they remain constant. Ideally, the debt holdings, they increase they increase because when people take out money from the equity market, they put on uh, their money in safer instruments like uh, debt funds, like like bonds, uh, liquid funds, etc. So ideally the debt, uh, debt side should go up, but for the sake of simplicity, let's say it doesn't go up. It remains 20,000. My equity is 48,000. My total becomes 68,000. Is the ratio 80-20 right now? The ratio is not 80-20. 48 by 68, it's not 20, it's close to about 70%. 70% equity, 30% debt. What should I do? The rule of thumb says that I will sell off some portion from my debt and buy some portion in my equity so that this ratio again becomes equal to 80 to 20. How much should I be selling? You do your calculation yourself. Uh, it will probably be about 7,000 rupees approximately. So 20,000, I have 20,000 rupees in debt, I'll sell off to 7,000, my debt portion remains 13,000, my equity becomes 48 plus 7, 55,000, 55 is to 13, approximate ratio is 80 is to 20, I'm done. You do your calculations on your Excel, you will uh, you will arrive at, uh, at an accurate number on what exactly should be your buying, buying or selling. Now, I have, re uh, I have arrived at this number, 80, 20 ratio. Now I'll wait for some time, for the markets to get corrected because in the long run markets always get corrected always uh, reach back to their uh, their the, the highs that they they were trading at initially in the long run markets always go up please remember this rule it always happens uh, no matter the severity of the crash so markets will recover let's say uh, the markets recovered went back up to their uh, initial levels if you now calculate then you will find out that your equity holdings are more than 80% now, probably 85-86%. And your debt holdings, less than 15%. Uh, less than Sell off that extra portion of equity and put that money in debt. This selling off is your profit booking. All in all, if you do the calculations, you will see that you end up making 5-6% to additional amount. While what happened, the index did not change. Markets crashed by 40% and they recovered back to their original levels. So all in all, the person who would be invested in index funds would not do any changes to any kind of uh, allocation changes. You'll see that this person is, is 
will not see any capital appreciation at all. But if you follow the rule of uh, constant weight asset allocation strategy, you will see your portfolio has grown by five to six percent. Now, when should you practice this this approach? Ideally, ideally, uh, people suggest financial advisors suggest that you should be reviewing your portfolio every year or probably twice every year. So twice every year you will sit with Excel, you will do all your calculations. What is my exact ratio? Is it the ratio that I initially defined? Does it suit my risk profile and all? If it does, if the ratio is off, for example, in my case, I have defined my ratio to be 80 to 20. If this, this ratio is off, I'll sell the appropriate asset, buy the appropriate asset, and I'll try to make this ratio back to what it was initially. This is what I do. And this simple strategy will guarantee that I generate better returns. You uh, Now, there are times, there are times in the stock market when you get presented with bigger opportunities. For example, coronavirus, it caused the markets to crash by 40%. What should you do in these cases? Ideally, you should be setting a trigger in your portfolio. You should be setting a trigger uh, which will get activated whenever the stock markets crash by more than 5 or let's say more than 10%. If there is a movement of more than 10%, either ways, either upside or downside, if there is a movement of more than 10% in a very less time, you should be doing, uh, you should be re-evaluating your asset allocation because your, uh, your numbers will be off. You do your recalculations and uh, based on that you arrive at a number. Do your profit booking or uh, buy more equities, whatever be, uh, whatever your uh, asset allocation suggests. And, um, and based on that you will be able to book you will be able to generate that extra alpha over what the existing mutual funds or what the existing index funds or whatever uh, whatever scheme you are invested in whatever that scheme is given uh, whatever that but whatever the return that that scheme is giving you you will be able to generate better returns than that uh, thanks a lot i am uh, I'm, I'm sure that there might be some confusions in the in understanding the concept uh, please comment your your thoughts your questions if you have any uh, and i'll see you in the next video thanks a lot for watching bye